when will Hollywood learn that you can't remake great films with little effort and expect it to be good? I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Point Break, no. Point Break, the 2015 remake. And I will say, this film did do a lot of great things. The action and the cinematography and all the stunts and the visuals, that was great about it. I mean, when they're jumping off mountains and climbing up mountains and surfing waves and flying through the air and doing this and doing that and going down snow mountains, all of that was very nice. It was shot very well. It was beautiful. I mean, I, I was actually smiling in the theater, just enjoying all of it, taking it all in. I mean, if you want a great action movie, a great action adventure movie, I mean, they did that well. I, can't, I will say that I'm not going to lie. I'm not just going to hate on this because it's a Point Break remake, but that part of the film was done great. But everything else... No, not even remotely close. And it's not, I'm not really mad at what they were trying to do, but you can just tell that they didn't care and did not put too much effort into it. This was a cheap money grab off of a past film that did great back in the early 90s, and they're just trying to rehash off that. There's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead and make your money, studio. Make your money, but at least put some effort into it. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, come on now. You have all these criminals doing all these heinous crimes, and then you have an FBI agent, Johnny Utah, trying to infiltrate himself into that team, and it has to be realistic. If you're pulling off these worldwide stunts going across from continent to continent, robbing people of millions of dollars, and if you make the smallest mistake, you can go to jail for your life. You're not just gonna welcome on a stranger into your team, letting him know all the secrets without doing any research or any background checks or anything. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I'm not a drug dealer, but if I'm running drugs and just some stranger runs up to me while I'm pumping gas at the gas station, say, hey man, I've heard about you. Can I join your team? Hmm, you look like a nice guy. Come on, here's my address and here's all the plans to what we're gonna do next. I mean, that's just stupid and it doesn't make sense. You have to build up to get there. You have to give the characters in the film a reason why they will make these adjustments and take on new people. Not just because the script wants you to or that's what the past film succeeded in. Another thing is that the trailer suggests and is shoved in your face is that they're doing all these heinous crimes not for personal gain, but because they want to give back. But the crimes that they wanted to give back you barely even see those. Those are brushed through initially within like five minutes at the very beginning of the film and you don't get the full impact of their weight. They're just skimmed across. Why can't we see more of that? Why can't we see them planning this out and why it's so important to them and how it will impact the community, let alone the world. But their remaining stunts, they try to say that it's not for their personal game or to receive enlightenment, but I don't see any other reason why they would be doing this. I mean, they're inspired by somebody that tried to do the same thing in the past and didn't succeed in that either. He failed and didn't even get remotely close. Let You're trying to follow him blindly and it just doesn't add up. I mean, if your so-called master wasn't able to do it, what makes you think that you're gonna be able to do it? It's just there to be there and that's why this film fails. If I had to rate this film out of a one out of 10, I would give it a three out of 10. Yes, a three out of 10. And that's pretty bad if you ask me. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Point Break? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you off? Have I turned you on? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below letting me know why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. Also, you can find me on my website, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. And guys, share the video. I'm not gonna get mad if you share the video. So guys, thank you for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.